I'm Pat Kung, and this is my Let's Play of Skyrim Dragonborn. So we are collecting cubes. Okay, I don't really need to hear his spiel on anymore. Okay, I now have two control cubes and turning that one off. Oh. Nor my magic. Both of us have some magic here. And what is over here? It looks like at one time there probably was one of those walkie guardian guys, but I do not see one right now. Okay, and are you coming over here? Maybe you are. Uh, I'm not sure what this is doing exactly. Oh, there is one of these guys over here. Well, let's see if... No, that isn't gonna... And is that guy gonna show up? Uh-oh. Oh, well, they're just Dwarven Spheres, and by this time I have some pretty good armor. So they're not actually doing very much to me. But I am worried that it might wake up one of of those guys, and those guys are not all that fun. So what is going on? So I'm not sure what, what that actually does. And there's one of those ballista guys that I met earlier. So where did uh, my little buddy go? Well, where are you? Well, you have a summon there. Okay, door on the north side of the workshop. Okay, so I guess that's over in this direction. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, then let's put these back. Did that... actually, let's put that back. Did that help at all? No, that lowered the water level. Which might not be all that helpful. Let's, but let's see what happens when I do the other one. With this... The water drops down to nothing. Okay. So let's walk down and see what we can find down there without any water in the way. Okay, so there's another cube here, but I would need a control switch to do anything with it. Uh, Daedric arrows, nice. Don't really need a Dwemer shield. What is this? I guess I don't really need a dynamo core, but don't see any harm in picking it up. Hmm. And is there anything interesting on this level? We can see if these guys do, do anything when... Uh, yes. Okay, so it woke up, but died pretty quickly. How about that one? Nope. And I'm guessing this one is also inert. Yes, so...
And what's oh spider. Oh, so maybe what I should do is head back up, grab one of those control switches, uh, and then... Wait, what are you doing? And plant it in that thing over there. Because there is one of those uh, receptacles on the second level. This will raise the water level. That is okay. That's, oh, did not quite manage that jump correctly. I'm not sure what that'll do. Whoa. Okay, that gives me some stairs. This thing is still in the way. What's this? Have I been through here yet? No, I haven't. It's not a particularly useful place, I guess. And this is probably still inert, but let's just double check. Yeah, it is. This will raise this up here, but we've already made the stairs. Okay, so we're now able to take the third control cube. But that made some noise. We had some some defenders. Whoa. I wonder if uh, how the monsters deal with swimming. And here's a chest. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Seems like something is... Oh, now we can go back through here and... Uh... Oh, is that one of those ballista things? I really do not like those things. to hit it from over here. No, not quite. But maybe I can get a Dramora Lord up on top of there. No, on top, not below. Well, anyhow, I guess I'll, I'll let the Dramora Lord start the combat and ooh Let's see if this guy yeah it is sweet Here's another one of the control cubes, which will probably raise the water level again. Uh, but the ballista thing is up here. 
Okay. Fortunately, the ballista thing is not particularly intelligent. Oop, except there's another one over there. Well, looks like I think it's fighting my buddy over there. is good because that gives me a great opportunity to knock it out without facing its really rather nasty uh, attacks. Sweet. And I suppose my friend will be making his way up here eventually. I will push on ahead. That is not useful. So what do I need? I need... How many cubes do, do I need? Restor well, I might have enough. Let's see, where does this go? Do we? I had hoped we might have enough cubes by this time. If we lo lower both of these, then it looks like we get some dwarven friends. Oh, foo. Well, I guess I can at least heal myself while I'm down here. And, uh, let's see, what is this way? Over here is, Wait, something's hitting me. Oh. Oh, it's one of those ballista things. I hate those things. Or is it two of the ballista things? No, it looks like it's just one. No, two. It is two, but... I wonder how many cubes I need. To do to do this and if I actually have enough. Wait, last cube is somewhere in here. Well, let's find out. Okay, so there is What does this one do? 
No. Okay, this one lowers this. This one lowers this. Then there's that other one which Okay, now both of them are up. That one lowers that one and that one. And what will this one do? Okay, all three are down. That's good. And I know that there are foes back there, but I don't really have to care about them. I guess I can let my Dramora worry about it. And over here is... Okay, there's a door that I can't open. And there is... Will this open the door? No. What will this do? Okay. So if I want to pass through the, the, the door down there, then this will keep the pump active. And... This will actually open that door. Oh. That's pretty unfriendly. It's these spinny blade things, which... Whoa! Okay. Somebody stepped on this... On... Okay, so what I need to do is dash across the right time and then okay so what that did is it pulled those things down and it looks like it disabled the pump. So now what I want to do is head back down here. He's grabbing one of the cubes over there. Fortunately, I have water breathing, so I don't need to worry too much about whatever's happening. I still have this vague feeling that he's going to betray me somehow. Not sure. It just seems like a, a storytelling instinct. Like, you always get little clues that something isn't quite right. Of course, I might be wrong. Anyhow, where is he? He is over here. Well, I have water breathing, so I don't need to worry too much. So we're heading back out through here. And I guess I can retrieve those other cubes uh, at my leisure.
Okay. And uh, I guess he's coming from down there. So we should have all the cubes we need now. Okay, now, yeah, well, where are the boilers? What are we doing here? What's, what is this down here? Anyhow, I'm not sure. Oh, do I need to reactivate this? Maybe I need to reactivate this. Four, three, Oh, okay, I lowered, I lowered it too much. Okay, so... One, two, three, and four. And that should... Should do it. Oh, except, except for one of these guys, but I can give him somebody to play with. there's anything in here that, that I want. Well, that's good for fighting animals. Yeah, so I, maybe it's just that I'm at a high enough level in the game that it's going to start, uh, that's always going to provide really nice drops no matter what I fight. Is this where we're going? Yeah, I guess it is. And there is a book contraption up here, I guess. Yeah, that definitely looks like a Dwemer, uh, and this is going to transform, transport me back into Apocrypha. that do that gave me a uh, open a new type of um, new type of challenge moving passages that you need to jump through well, it's not something that's impossible I would prefer to have some bodyguards around just because yes 
I guess I could jump the gap. Oh no, it's not, no need to jump. It is entirely working. What did that do? That opened up one of those tongue things to go into uh, the moving platform. But it does look like the tentacles are happy to come up and slap at me if I get too near the edge. So I will have to be a little bit careful, but should be okay. Oh, well, I guess the Dremora Lord isn't coming with me. But, and I will run through there. This should teleport me into the next area, which is a bookstorm. I definitely would like to have... Okay, those statue things are kind of freaky. What did that do? That is going to open up... Okay, that is really pretty creepy. Whoa. So, let's... What is that? Oh, not these guys too. Really? Well, but I can head over here if I want to. I think that is where I next need to be. Anyhow, hopefully. Okay. This is the first part of Apocrypha where I'm really feeling like I could possibly get lost. Let's see. This is what, what you get when you have decent uh, magic uh, resistance. These guys aren't really able to do very much to me. Whoop. Except there's another one. Okay, so was there anything important over here? It's a glowy thing. Ah, and standing in that gook was draining my health a little bit. Not a lot, though. I guess maybe because it's pretty shallow. This just screams like battle arena of some sort. Well, oh, that is really pretty crazy book structure. And I guess the downside of having all this constantly moving stuff is that you can't rely on your peripheral vision to tell you when you're in danger. Let's see. Is anything firing at me? No. But that looks like it's one of those moving platform things. And one of my enemies is over there. So I can maybe take him out from over here at very low risk. Maybe I can even get a sneak attack bonus. Yes.
Whoa, where did you come from? Whoa, something. Did I get pushed into. Wait, where did. What's going on? I think my Dramora Lords were. Stop pushing me around. Oh, it's you. So annoying. Well, I guess I'm just underusing my uh, bodyguards. I will let them take care of it. guys regenerate or something? I could have sworn I did some damage to him before. Mm, I guess I'll head into the tunnel. Is there anything interesting at the end of the tunnel? Well, I guess there's a gateway, but I should probably clear out sure what's over here, but let's take care of it. And we can have two of these guys. But they are striding right into the middle of the poisonous, watery stuff, which probably means they're not going to live super long. Hmm. These look like skill books. Uh, and still more. Nice. Looks like I can summon all the way over there. And who is oh, are they floating over the water? Crazy. So if these guys it is doing enough damage where this is definitely not gonna do. So let's summon another one. Actually, I think I'm probably going to want to do some hand-to-hand -hand with them. Okay. Okay, so those guys are pretty ugly. Not that that is a super important thing to determine, but it's definitely true. What the? I just killed you. Oh, no, I just weakened you enough that you fell down to your knees. Not quite the same thing. Okay. So there's the water, which is not a good place to be. There's here. 
There's some places near the ground. There's the sweepy book thing. Wait, the game seems to think that I'm supposed to do something here. Uh, but I'm not sure how. Learn the knowledge of... Oh, there's something up there? Well, how do I get up there? Well, I guess there's this place over here. Maybe... Yeah, but that's not really all that helpful. How do I... If I want to be up there, how do I manage it? Is there a switch somewhere? There might be a switch somewhere. There probably is a switch uh, somewhere. Okay, so what does that do? That doesn't seem to do anything, I don't think. There doesn't seem to be anything down there in particular. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I guess the one thing I didn't do is I didn't check the end of that long corridor. And I think I might have been standing accidentally in the pool here. Okay, so, but I really apparently want to be up there. So I guess my hope is that at the end of this corridor there might be a switch that will let me into that zone. Okay, this really is pretty cool. Okay, so now we have two of these guys. Is this higher up than the last one? No, I don't think so. Oh, uh, hello. Let's see. Can I get by you? Yes, I can. What are my, my exit options around here? Will that open this door up ahead? Yes, it will. Still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but... That is okay. And it looks like these are places for books. Maybe. And I get the feeling that there should be monsters all over the place here. Ah, and they're kind of invisible. Let's keep on calling my allies. And I don't actually need to stick around to watch. Although, there do seem to be more foes up ahead. 
There could be trouble ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh, so apparently the other one wasn't dead. I don't need stamina. It's not all that useful. Aha, uh -huh. here is Magicka. Interesting. I, I just get this feeling that I'm... Well, in any case. Oh, did this take me upstairs? I guess I'm upstairs now. Yeah, I definitely like this unfolding flower kind of motif. Uh, don't get in my way, dude. Well done. My champion. It's probably what his voice is sounding like. Yes, good. Oh, and that's what Hermaeus Mora looks like. Giant snaky tentacle. Big eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Hermaeus Mora um, speaks really slowly. He has a cool voice, but we're not able to actually uh, hear him because we have to have the audio off. Interesting. I can turn right, but I can't turn back left. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Hermaeus Mora is teaching me the dragon tongue. That is kind of amusing. Man, that is such a cool display. In fact, this would make a pretty great screensaver. Oh, come on, Hermes Mora. Talk faster. And yeah, I do just think that Hermaeus Mora is pretty much the coolest uh, data ever. So... He wants the secrets of the skull. And I think the skull village was that place in the northeast corner. Shaman. Okay, works for me. And I wonder if this book of power is going to give me. Probably will. Yes, it will 
let me select a, a boon of some sort. Okay, so that sounds cool. That sounds meh. That sounds kind of cool, but I use Unrelenting Shout a lot more than I use uh, any of the other powers. So, this should pull me back. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So this guy, this NPC is going to walk back. I guess I'll walk out too. And I will go and speak with the skull. I'm looking forward to seeing how the unrelenting, how the stronger unrelenting force uh, works out. I regret not having done the, the main storyline to completion, though, uh, because it would be neat to also have um, Parthenax's. Um, meditation on that. Whoa! Dragon! Well, I do not mind taking out the dragon. Let's see. This seems like a good time for Lightning Storm. Oh, and this is a named dragon. Interesting. He's going to be forced to land soon. Actually, he's already dead. He died before he hit the ground. Sweet. And I wonder if that dude is going to show up and take... No, this time I get this hole. Okay, so where am I going? So I've taken care of this. Guess I'll head back up to the Skull Village. That is one weird looking dragon. And it looks like the first Dragonborn is kind of an awkward rider. Maybe there isn't a good way to ride dragons, though. Or maybe that kind of dragon is particularly awkward to ride, but it's not... It looks more like a fish than a dragon. Really pretty lame mount. Oh, it has different feet, too different tails. Okay, so she is the leader of the village. And uh, apparently somebody is missing around here. So, yep, there is somebody missing. Now I'll head over to this guy.
Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, ordinarily, I would expect in quests like the, uh, this to see, like the uh, NPCs never do any uh, anything interesting. They're, they're just kind of spectators. But in this case, Well, I think it's good storytelling. It's uh, although I guess a lot of the way that stories work over generations and over uh, over different genres is that they play with certain tropes and then abandon them. And I like the idea of moving away from the centrality of one person. Oh, that is kind of a unpleasant way to... Oh, Hermaeus... Well... So what's Yeah, that's kind of a rough... Uh, uh, hmm. I wonder if that was the only way to resolve that quest. but I believe that I'll have to uh, leave that off for the next Let's Play. So, I will do that.